Hi everyone, my name is Nicole and welcome to the Week's Nest DIY. Recently shared in a haul, I found these leather rolls from Dollar Tree. These are with their vinyl. They had a few different colors and I love crafting with faux leather. So I'm gonna show you some really easy DIY ideas you can make using these leather rolls from the Dollar Tree. So let's get started. So first up, we're gonna use this black faux leather roll. So Dollar Tree and their like school supply section has these pencil holders. So I'm gonna use one of these. I spray painted most of it black, mainly so I can get the trim that is not gonna be covered by the faux leather to be the same color. And then I am just going to trace the two front pieces I'm gonna cut them and then also make sure that I flip that over and get the groove that is on both the front and the back of this pencil holder. I am using a brighter marker just so that I can see it against the black and then I'm going to trim it. Let me know down in the comments if you have found these faux leather rolls at your Dollar Tree. I loved the faux leather ribbon and they have not bought it back. So when I saw these, I was so excited and I'm going to show you how you can use these without a cutting machine. There are so many great ways to get a high end look using these leather rolls. So once I have those two pieces trimmed, I am going to obviously cut them. Um, and then I'm going to apply them with a little bit of hot glue, not too much. So you don't see any bumps from the faux leather. You can leave this as is, but I felt like it was missing something. So if you are not new to my channel, you know my love for these half wood beads. I get these from Amazon. I have a link for them down in my description box below, but I thought that four going one on each corner would just dress this up and it definitely gave it more of that kind of store bought look that I was going for. there you have it with just a little bit of this faux leather some paint and wood beads you get a really nice more upgraded pencil holder look using Dollar Tree items Cognac color is probably one of my favorites, so I'm going to share this in quite a few of the projects today. Now, I'm going to take a pillowcase that I already had, and I'm going to lay this roll out, and then I'm going to trim to add to half of the pillowcase. I love that look. It's seen in a lot of different stores, so you can get that using inexpensive materials like this from Dollar Tree. And the great thing is the paper trimmer that I have works perfect to get an even cut with this leather. So once I have that cut, I'm just gonna use some either Stronghold hot glue you can use or fabric hot glue is preferable. And you are going to add enough to add this to your pillowcase. This is a great idea if you already have a pillowcase that you just wanna dress up a bit, you can add something like this to it to give it a more fresh store-bought look. And then make sure you definitely go all the way around adding glue so that it stays to your pillowcase. And that is it for this. This was such an easy upgrade, like I said, to a pillowcase I already had. And it gives me that look that I was going for without having to go out to the store to buy a new pillow. I thrifted this tissue box holder a while ago. Again, this is an idea of how you can add this Dollar Tree leather to something you have already. So I just wanted to get an idea of where I needed to make my cuts. So I took my cognac leather roll and then I am just going to kind of fit this to the box. And once I have those markings, again, I like to use a black marker for this just so I can see it against the leather and then I can make a good even cut. I am going to cut this out and set this to the side. Now you're gonna see in a second that for this particular tissue box that I am using, the leather does not fully cover it. So I am gonna go in with some paint just to kind of even that out. So I will add an accent piece that the leather does not cover. So you see here, 
I have a little bit of a space. And I apologize for my voice. I've just been dealing with the cold, so life. Um, a little bit of this black chalk paint just in the area that is going to show from the leather as well as the top just to make it a little more even. is dry it is time to add that faux leather so I'm going to use a combination of Mod Podge and hot glue I'm going to evenly spread out the Mod Podge and that is what the base is going to hold the faux leather and then on the edges as I'm turning it that's where I'm going to secure with hot glue all that does is just give me a more immediate hold before the Mod Podge has time to dry and adhere Let me know in the comments. I know since Dollar Tree's prices have gone up to $125, they claim that they're going to be expanding some of the stuff that they get in, particularly in their crafting department. So let me know some things that you wish to see. I was actually excited that my local stores are starting to expand their crafting section. So this was a definite exciting find. And I hope to find more stuff like this at Dollar Tree because it makes crafting and decorating on a budget just so much easier. So let me know what are some items you have seen that are new or you're hoping to see. A little space that is showing, I'm gonna take these wood pieces from Hobby Lobby. I got these on sale, they ended up being like two bucks and you get, I don't know, maybe like, I want to say like 500. I could be wrong, but you get a lot of these little sticks. Um, you can trim them if need be, but I'm just using them as is and kind of making a modern pattern. Basically, it's just a great way to cover the part that the leather did not cover, but I do like that it gives it a little bit of a different focal point and I like the wood against the faux leather. And I used a Dollar Tree tissue box for my holder and it's a great way to update an otherwise plain tissue box. But don't forget the scraps that you have when you are crafting with ribbon or faux leather. I'm gonna take a scrap and I'm gonna add it to the top of this vase that I have from Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna add some of the half wood beads to it just to dress it up a bit. So I've seen this kind of collar look at stores like West Elm or even on Pinterest, they have different jars with like the leather. So once I cut that, I am going to first hot glue my wood beads and then I'm gonna add this to the vase and then hot glue it to cinch it. And this is just a really easy way to upgrade a vase, give it a more modern look. And it's awesome because you can use scraps. You don't need a whole roll of the leather. So I always, always save my scraps of vinyl, ribbon, anyone else do that? Because I feel like it's just, it always comes in handy. And once that is on, I just went ahead and it trimmed to make sure everything was even. And I added this to my bookshelf. Now I do have a bookcase makeover video, which I will link down below or put up in the cards if you're interested, but I just love decorating it. And this definitely fit the bookcase so well. show you two different ways you can use the faux leather with this piece from Dollar Tree. So the first thing I did was I just moved the hanger to the bottom because I'm going to use this kind of as a ledge for one of the ideas. And again, taking that cognac color, it's like my favorite. I saw that the faux leather came in cognac, black, navy, and white. The only color I did not get was the navy, but this one is definitely my favorite. So I'm going to first trim what I need for this, cut this and set this aside. And then I'm going to add a little bit of paint to that sign for where the leather is not going to cover. 
about a quarter of the bottom in black and then I also painted the sides and the edges just so that it looked even and then I'm going to apply the faux leather to this. To do that, I'm going to do the same combination of Mod Podge and hot glue just to get a stronger hold but also the hot glue provides me with an instant hold which makes the impatient crafter in me just so happy. So we're going to apply that and then I'm going to show you two really fun ways that you can use this to display. And yes, I forgot that side piece when I was just dis not displaying, adding the leather, but I did go back and paint that in case it's bothering you like it's bothering me now editing. Way number one is to display some kind of go-to seasonings. In my house, it's cumin and oregano. This is a great decorative way to kind of have those spices in your kitchen on hand. Now, another way is you can use this as a ledge, flip it over, and it holds essential oil bottles perfectly. And that is another functional way to use this piece with that awesome faux leather idea for the scraps is to add it to a sign. So I'm going to take one of the Dollar Tree wood um, shelves that come like the macrame pieces, which I do have an awesome project coming up with one of these. Um, but I'm going to take this scrap piece of leather for now and just trim it so that it acts as a piece that I can layer on top of with this sign. So once I have that trimmed, I'm going to apply it. And then I also decided to use those half wood beads just to add some texture to this project. I feel like I haven't said texture in forever. I always used to say that in my videos. Um, but it also doubles as hiding those little holes that the macrame cord would go on if you use it for its intended purpose. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then I did provide a printable for this project, which will be in the description box below. So make sure to check that out. And I had just glued that on top of the leather. I thought I had the footage for that, but I don't, but you'll see. Super easy. I love apothecary signs, and this fits more of my kind of modern farmhouse boho style. So it's such an easy way to add some interest to a sign. I've had this wood piece. This is actually a wall decor piece, but I like using these for trays. And I'm just going to add some faux leather handles to this. Again, a great idea for scraps. I really wanted to show you how versatile and how many projects you can get out of these rolls. So if you only find like one or two at Dollar Tree, don't feel like that's not enough. Pick them up if you want and you can get so many different looks using a roll or two. So I just cut pe two pieces even and then I'm going to have them kind of go up to act as a handle in the middle and just some thumbtacks to secure them. I did end up using a hammer because they were not going in all the way. Or no, did I use a hammer? No, I used the back of a screwdriver. <laughs> um, I did this on both sides and it just instantly gave it a more store-bought finished look. Books were in a video I did last year, but I just styled this tray. I added another piece to the front, you have the handles on either side, and it just is so simple, but it really just dresses this tray up so nice. We're just gonna layer some of this faux leather for a nice wall decor piece. So I've had this small mirror from the Target Dollar Spot. It was $3 last year. Um, any piece, that's round, you can recreate this with. So don't feel like if you don't have this, you can't. I'm gonna use that off-white leather for this project. So I am going to trace half of the circle. I'm gonna make my cuts and we're gonna flip this and kind of make it look like a basket. So once I cut that half circle, I did have some of the faux leather ribbon left over from last year and I'm so sad that has not come back. Um, I just went ahead and layered that with some hot glue and then I added some scrapbook paper to the base of the mirror that we're flipping over and I just layered everything on top of each other attached with hot glue and it just instantly gave me a fun boho piece that would go great on a basket wall or just on its own. So I love again using smaller pieces, layering them and getting a really fun look.
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments which of these projects was your favorite. And if you have found these leather rolls, what are some projects you would make with them? I love knowing and definitely be on the lookout for these. These are just so fun, so versatile. There are so many different things you can do with them. And like I showed you in this video, there's a lot of things you can do with them to add to pieces you already have. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps YouTube see me a little bit more and also lets me know what you like watching. If you are not already subscribed, I invite you to do so and make sure that notification bell is turned on so you know every time I upload a new video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you all are doing well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.